The federal government just recommended that new cars be built with these rear view video systems, but a safety group filed a lawsuit today against the Department of Transportation saying this quote unquote recommend recommendation uh, that that's not enough. Parents in this group say the Obama administration is backing down from a law passed five years ago that put a 2011 deadline for a federal rule on rear visibility. And now the group's lawsuit calls for a mandatory rule within 90 days. So just to give you an idea as far as how serious back over crashes are, Here's some numbers for you. More than 200 people are killed, 17,000 people injured every year, and kids under age five make up 44% of those deaths. The driver oftentimes being a parent or a family member. And I'll never forget this interview. Uh, this hit incredibly close to home for a mother I talked to on the show just this past April. Her name was uh, Karen Polly. And can you imagine she accidentally backed over and killed her son just a couple of years ago. And so this mother is part of this group that's pushing for a mandatory ruling. And she told me why we all need these rear view cameras and how she's dealing with the loss of her son. We have a picture where there's 63 children behind an SUV. And if you look and you look in the side mirror and you can't see any of them. Yeah. That is how big of a blind zone there is behind the car. It's still a daily struggle, but I have a great family and great friends and being involved with kids in cars really helps to try and make sure that these accidents stop happening. Let me bring my legal experts back in, attorneys Darren Kevinoki and Faith Jenkins. And Darren, first question to you, should this be up to the government or should this be up to us, the consumer? Yeah, this is something that should be up to the government. This is one of the few times when I really like the government getting involved yeah. because companies have said, look, it should be up to consumers about what they want to spend their dollars on. But this is all about safety for the most vulnerable people in our society children. Mm -hmm. It's children that are getting injured and killed. And when it comes to seat belts, we've all accepted that seat belt, all of our we're cars. paying for seat belts. We might as well pay for these backup cameras too. It's a small price to pay. It's a couple hundred dollars. Even if someone says, hey, I don't have kids or it, you know, but other people this. do. Guess yeah. what? Other people have kids. They're the ones that are getting hurt. And this is a no brainer. Faith, mm -hmm. uh, Darren says no brainer. Do you agree A and B? Do you think the Department of Transportation has been unreasonable? in delaying this issue. Brooke, this is not a controversial issue here. The Department of Transportation has done the research. They've done, they've admittedly done extensive research on this issue. They know there's a blind spot in cars. They know that having these rear view cameras will help. And yes, it, it, they have been unreasonable with the delay. Congress enacted a deadline of 2011. Now they're saying they're not going to make a mandatory ruling until 2015. I'm happy the consumers are going to court. They filed this lawsuit seeking a declaratory judgment because now the government has to say why. Why is there a delay? again until 2015 and they have to put that on the record now.